Health and lifestyle specialist Leslie Gordon is here now. And what's up tonight, Leslie? Well, Kyle, always a health story out of the University of Guelph. Tonight, we actually have two for you. Good evening, everyone. First, a new vaccine to make your travels to developing countries a little more comfortable. A chemist at the University of Guelph is in the midst of developing the world's first vaccine to prevent traveler's diarrhea and other foodborne illnesses. He and a team of scientists have come up with a sugar-based vaccination to combat Campylobacter bacteria present in improperly cooked food. Many people traveling south to countries like Mexico commonly get sick from it, but so do people living in North America. Usually 50 people out of 100,000 obtain uh, food poisoning from Campylobacter uh, on, on a regular basis, uh, and especially in developing countries such as the, uh, in East Asia and, and South America. This latest research clears the way for human trials, most likely to start in 2011. The approval process takes time, though. You'll likely see the vaccine on shelves in about 10 years. A hot topic these days is in the area of nutrition, functional food, it's called. Omega-3s, probiotics, soluble fiber. These oats would be high in beta-glucan, which has been shown to lower cholesterol. And this new facility at the University of Guelph is where some of those products will be tested. The Human Nutraceutical Research Unit was established in 1998, so industries could test their foods to see if they had health benefits. Within the last year, the facility has relocated and expanded. Having facilities like this is absolutely critical because there are so many products on the marketplace. We need to make sure that consumers know which products actually have health benefits. Research is conducted here all the time. Right now, they're doing a study on oatmeal and its ability to lower cholesterol, and it's mm. looking good, so load up on the oatmeal for breakfast. And good for the University of Guelph. We're so yeah. fortunate to have them so close. Absolutely. And all the schools around here, of course. Thanks, Leslie.